Chapter Seven: Shilla's Astronomical Records Questionable. The astronomical observation map of the three ancient Korean countries, presented by Professor Park Chang-bom, gives us a totally unexpected, almost shocking appearance of the history of the Korean Peninsula. Based on that, we are retracing the lost history of our ancient past under two premises. First, Professor Park's astronomical observation map of the three ancient Korean countries can be counted as an unbiased witness of history of Korean Peninsula as it was, uncontaminated and undistorted. This premise is supported by at least two facts. The map set is a product of rigorous computer analysis of the astronomical records of the ancient society, and astronomical records of the ancient days can be credited with immunity from any arbitrary distortion in later times. Second, each of the astronomical observation centers shown in this map was. At the same time, the political, economic, social, and cultural center of each country, very much likely the capital city with the royal palace. This premise also has at least two grounds. Results of astronomical observation had much significance in terms of governance in ancient countries. And the ruler must have needed it just by his side when no efficient telecommunication system was available. Based on these premises, we analyzed the cases of Kokuria and Baekje on the maps presented by Professor Park. Considering such diverse factors as topography, geography, resource distribution pattern, ecological conditions, historical and archaeological data, the political-economic context of ancient societies, and the general pattern of the way human beings constitute society, the observation centers of Kogurya and Baekje indicated in that set of maps can be presumed to be the actual centers of both countries, respectively. Javay Kalski Krai and Mongolia Kazakhstan border area for Kogurya and the Liaohe Yoha Basin for Baekje. However, we cannot easily draw such a distinct picture from the case of Silla. First of all, the dating of astronomical records poses a noticeable problem. Professor Park's astronomical observation map traces back the location where the solar eclipse could be observed, as recorded in the historical book Samguk Sagi: Historical Records of Three Kingdoms, first published in the Goryeo Dynasty. Records of the eclipses in Goguryeo are recorded for the period from 37 BCE to 668 CE. Those in Baekje are for the period from 18 BCE to 660 BC. Both of the periods correspond to the periods of existence for the two countries, respectively, and the astronomical records of both countries appear throughout their respective periods of existence without any noticeable discontinuity. On the other hand, astronomical records of Silla appear in structural discontinuity. Distinctively different styles divide them clearly into three periods. The first is from 57 BCE to 202 CE. The second is from 202 to 786 CE. And the third is from 707 to 935 CE. Professor Park named the first period the earlier Shilla period and skips the second period without any mention. This is because there are no records of astronomical phenomena, including solar eclipses, for this period. After a long interval of 585 years, astronomy-related records appear again, and Professor Park named this last period the later Silla. In each of these three periods, astronomical and other historical descriptions are recorded in quite different styles. In the earlier Silla period, the proportion of records on eclipses and other astronomical phenomena is remarkably large and the description style shows considerable expertise. In contrast, other historical events, on the whole, are written in limited quantity and very simple recording style. 
In the second phase, the description of any astronomical phenomena totally disappears. Historical events other than those related to celestial change, on the other hand, begin to be recorded in much greater detail. Records of astronomical phenomena, including eclipses, appear again from 787 on, during the reign of King Wonsong of Unified Silla. From here to the end of the Silla, astronomical records, including eclipses, appear frequently and the description is quite detailed. However, historical events other than astronomical phenomena are also described in detail, so the writing style of the later Shila is significantly different from that of the earlier Shila period. Oddity does not stop there. In the two periods when astronomical records appear, that is, in the earlier Shila and in the later Shila, the observation centers are located in completely different places from each other and both of them are quite far away from the royal capital of Shilla. For the earlier Shilla, the center of astronomical observation is in the middle basin of the Yangtze River, the first river in China. In the case of the later Shilla, it is on the southern coast of the Korean Peninsula. We know that in the first half of the 600s during Queen Sanduk's reign, an astronomical observatory called Chamsongde was built in Gyeongju, the royal capital of Silla. However, no records of astronomical phenomena observed in Chamsongde or in the nearby areas can be identified through Professor Park's algorithm or in any other ways. The map provided by Professor Park's computer algorithm suggests that the astronomical observation center, thereby very much probably the political cultural center of Shilla, was located in the middle of the Yangtze River, slightly south of present-day Wuhan, for about 260 years, starting from 57 BCE. It was 700 years before the reign of Queen Sanda, who is now accepted as the predecessor of state-level astronomical observation in Shilla, and 1,500 kilometers far away from her capital city, Gyeongju. Astronomical records that reappear in the late 700s after more than 580 years were about what had been observed in the area covering the south coast of the Korean Peninsula to the southeast coast of China, Professor Park's map tells us. The center of this area is a place called Cheonghaejin, a small island in the present-day Wando in Jeollado province. It used to be the base camp of the famous civilian maritime master Chang Bogo, aka King of the Ocean. He is estimated to have been very active since the late 700s, just at the time when the astronomical records reappear in Samguk Sagi, historical records of three kingdoms. We have noticed that among the astronomical records in Samguk Sagi, particularly those of Silla, have many points that cannot be easily understood. If we agree with Professor Park chang saying that science doesn't lie, how should we explain this part? Samguk Sagi is a book that summarized the historical records passed down until the 12th century when the author Kim Bushik wrote it. If so, Kim Bushik may have referred to different historical records for different phases of history. That may have resulted in a significantly different writing style for each of the three periods in the history of Silla. What kind of historical records did Kim Bushik refer to for each period? Why do Shilla's astronomical records show such distinct discontinuities? Why do the centers of astronomical observation appear to be for different periods in completely different places that was far from the royal capital of Shilla with a state-level observatory, Chamsongde? These questions which no historical researcher so far seems to have taken into serious consideration, are revealed by an in-depth analysis of Professor Park chang astronomical observation map. And they are offering us very important keys to retracing our lost past. Music